going to be responding to the um, affirmative claim that ineffective um, that that um, the in, in the ineffectiveness of the uh, compliance um, that a lot of schools already do have policies with consequences, as Alex stated before. Um, so 62% of teens are allowed to have cell phones at school but not in class, and 24% are forbidden from having phones at all times. And these schools already would have plans with uh, policies and um, uh, what's it called punishments that the students would be um, receiving if they broke these rules. Um, and with regards to firing the faculty, if the professor wants, if a professor wants electronics in their room, and, and there was a nationwide ban. This wouldn't allow these professors to go uh, elsewhere and teach elsewhere, like you said. Um, and, and what I am bringing up is the teaching of proper use, not just um, the banning of it completely and turning it into a, like a criminal thing. Um, different people have different methods of learning. Um, for instance, the affirmative brought up the cost of the phones in the room. I, I wasn't <laughs> saying to use cell phones in the room. Uh, I was actually saying for tablets. Um, and there was a uh, a study done by Heart Research Associates and uh, for the Lead Commission in August 2012 um, on 883 parents and 812 K through 12 teachers. Um, when it comes to the, they said, when it comes to resource investment, 89% of teachers and 76% of parents would rather spend $200 per pupil on an internet-enabled portable device uh, than $200 for new science books for each student. Um, and in regards to the e-books, um, uh, just recently, um, <coughs> the Obama administration is asking every U.S. school to accelerate the transition to digital textbooks. Uh, the president's goal is to have an e-textbook in every student's hand by 2017, and Federal Communications Commission, uh, Commission Chairman Julius Ganowski and Education Secretary Arne Duncan will, will recommend uh, um, they recommended at a summit of industry and education officials that states modify the textbook adop adoption process allowing K-12 schools to use taxpayer uh, funding uh, once reserved for printed books on iPads, Kindles, and, and uh, the like uh, software as well. Um, And a lot of parents and teachers also do uh, overwhelmingly support the greater use of technology in education. Uh, the vast majority of K-12 teachers and parents support the greater use of technology in education uh, and believe that school systems should be more, uh, do more to improve access. This was the same poll that had the 883 parents and uh, 812 teachers. Uh, it determined that 96% of teachers and 91% of parents think that applying technology to learning and teaching is important to the education of American students. Uh, with the affirmative uh, the affirmative proposed not not doing that. Um, what the affirmative was proposing is is the promotion of conformity. Um, furthermore, more than half of both teachers and parents surveyed believe that technology will play a much bigger role educating students in the next decade. And uh, the ownership of personal electronic devices in the, uh, the U.S. is on the rise. Um, a Pew Research uh, uh, study in 2010, um, five percent of American adults between the ages of 18 and 29 own tablet computers, and in 2015, 50 percent of these adults own tablet computers. Uh, and in 2011, 52 percent of American adults aged 18 to 29 own smartphones. In 2015, 86 percent of these adults own smartphones. Uh, it is hard to ignore the trend that technology plays a key role in society and will play one in the future. St students need to be taught how to use the technology properly in their daily lives and not persecuted for using them.